Good morning to everyone and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover a USD versus Japanese yen. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the USD versus Japanese yen first. So what we what we got here basically is that uh, there was a very well defined um, slope pattern basically that after the uh, Bank of Japan interest rate decision there was a strong impulsive demand and then market basically traded higher but it defined this upside channeling mode and basically yesterday we finally broke that channeling mode and broke the recent lows and this was basically the the sign for the further downside moment so so far I play some expansion level markets just resting around 61.8 percent expansion uh, but there is a still plenty of the space for potential downside. The momentum is pretty, uh, pretty bearish, um, and uh, I would not be surprised if the USDN can trade towards the 135, and then <clears throat> the next potential, uh, you know, downside objective can be around 134.67. So uh, there's a plenty of events today. There is FMC meeting minutes. We have also federal funds rate. And we have also economic data, so it will be pretty volatile into the U.S. session. But uh, from the a technical perspective, from technical analysis, there is still plenty of the space for the downside. Um, and uh, again, pay attention to those <clears throat> cluster of highs around 135 mark. That can be the next station for the downside. And then 134.67. We also can see here that we have like a recent swing low area. So in case of the some rally uh, before the downside movement, there is a, you know, we have some areas around 136, 20, 25 that can act also like resistance and potential for the further downside movement. <clears throat> Speaking of the gold market, this is something we spoke about uh, yesterday so basically market uh, this was a perfect confluence Fibonacci confluence and uh, the market really reacted there was a negative data on job, job openings yesterday so uh, basically that boosted the, the gold higher and we broke this mini cluster basically almost a 10-day cluster of highs uh, prior to the FMC so there is still plenty of potential for the gold to go higher and to retest 2048 so it's 2047 2048 and then we have a area around 2070 mark and 2075 and of course we can also make a projection um, we can make a projection for example if we can take this and just uh, place like this so 61.8 is at 21.17 and 100% expansion for this um, area here is around uh, 2,209. So plenty of potential. If we take the main expansion, for example, we can see that um, <clears throat> the main expansion 100, if we go from the major, where the major rally started, it's at 21.44. So this area in 21.17, 21.44 can also be the next uh, upside objective, speaking of the swing term perspective. You know, watching the crude oil, so after we filled the gap uh, market, you know, rested for a couple of days and sold off, and also yesterday was a sell off. Um, Again, we are approaching this area around 66 or 65 zone, so that can be in the play on the crude oil. Had a big down day yesterday, close on the low. So um, it's not a fresh uh, breakout or something like that, but still potential for overall swing term perspective for the market to go towards this 66, 65 area. <clears throat> and speaking of the Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, we can we can see that market is building this uh, kind of like triangle. A triangular form so we are contracting we have a contraction here in basically sideways um, environment so we can see here that market is building this contraction 
and uh, I would like to see the breakout, eventual breakout of the support, let's say below 27,000 mark, might open the door for 24,000, even for a 20,000 20, mark. But in case of upside breakout of let's say 30,000 mark, then we can expect maybe 32, 34,000 to be in the play. <clears throat> Still, this also may take some time to develop inside of this triangle further, and then uh, you know potential for the breakout is there. But that will be all for this update, guys. I hope that you did enjoy. Trades uh, safe as always, and speak to you from tomorrow morning.